In this video, we are going over how to shoot a soccer ball like Harry Kane. I'm going to show you how he's able to shoot so accurately all the time. And I'm also going to give you some practices that you can do so you can start shooting more like him. The reason Harry Kane can shoot as well as he can is because he practices all the time. Now, just like I mentioned in the Robin video, it's no coincidence that he can cut inside and score, and it's no coincidence that Harry Kane can shoot the ball very accurately and score many goals. He famously works on this all the time, and if you want to be someone who can do this, it's going to take more than just the knowledge of how to do it. You're actually going to have to get out there and practice over and over and over again. The next thing to keep in mind when trying to shoot like Harry Kane is Harry Kane deliberately keeps the ball low and aims for the corners. He's even quoted as saying that he aims low and goes low because that's harder for the keeper to get to. Bottom corner for me is, is my favorite. You know, people go mad about top corner goals when it looks beautiful off the crossbar and goes in, but I was always taught as a kid, low and hard, and it's always good for a keeper, and that's, that's what I try and do. You rarely, I don't think, there's been many goals in my career, especially from edge of the box, that end up going top corner. So he deliberately practices this in training because he knows that he will get more goals with a low hard shot opposed to a hard shot that's at mid-height where it's at a good height for the keeper to save it. In matches, Kane is not shy to shoot. It's not enough just to learn the technique that we're going over in this video. You actually have to start shooting in your matches. And Kane, like I said, will never pass up a chance to do this. He'll usually drop back a little bit, find a bit of space, create a little bit of space, and then rip one on goal. And because he's practiced this so much, he scores so many goals because he's worked on it. So if you want to start scoring goals, you need to start shooting in matches, but you need to practice this so often that when you get that opportunity to do this, you can do it almost automatically. So speaking of practice, this is all you really need to do to work on this area. At first, I really recommend you start practicing your shooting against a wall. This is because it's going to be easier to learn the technique if you're working against a wall. If you keep trying to shoot against the net, but you don't have the technique down, you're gonna spend a lot of unnecessary time chasing the ball down or getting it out of the net only to reset. While if you're practicing against a wall, you can keep shooting over and over and over against the wall until you feel very comfortable with the technique. After you're very comfortable with the technique, practice shooting on goal, and like I said, practice trying to hit those corners, keeping the ball low. If you can hit a ball hard and low towards the corners, you have a much better chance of scoring. So when you're practicing your shooting, um, whether it's your finishing or your distance shooting, make sure you're aiming for those corners. Again, it's going to be a lot harder for the keeper to get down there and save it, and even a shot that's not going particularly fast, but it's low towards that corner, has a chance of going in. I will also provide you some links to some other videos that will help you with your shooting technique if that's where you're struggling. I have a video that goes over how to shoot with power and where on the ball you need to hit it, how to lock your ankle, and all of these necessary components if you want to shoot well, so I recommend you check out that video before moving on to trying Harry Kane's technique. Thank you so much for watching this video. This is the second video in uh, how to do certain things like certain players. We covered Robin in the first video, so check out that video please like and share this video and I will put two other videos on the screen so you can continue learning um, but I would definitely check out those videos in the description all right guys thank you so much for watching please come back tomorrow at 5 p.m. for a brand new video and I'll see you in that one